Hare Krishna. We'll proceed on our journey with the 40th verse of second chapter from the Bhagavad Gita as it is. The Sanskrit verse is as follows. Na jayate mriyate va kadachin na yam bhutva bhavita va na bhuyaha ajanitya shashvato yam purano na hannete hannemane sharire English translation is as follows. For the soul, there is neither birth nor death at any time. He has not come into being, does not come into being, and will not come into being. He is unborn, eternal, ever existing, and primeval. He is not slain when the body is slain. The most important line for Arjun is Nahanyate Hanyamane Sharire. When the body is destroyed, the soul is not destroyed. Soul, which is part of Krishna, will not be destroyed. This verse asserts that death happens to the body and not the soul. Na jayate mriyate va kadachin. The soul does not take birth. The soul does not die. What does it mean when we say that somebody has taken birth? That means it has entered into existence at a particular time. And if the entry is at a particular time, the exit should also be at some time. So the soul is beyond the dimension of time, beyond the influence of material world. Soul is transcendental, it is eternal. The soul has an original existence beyond the cycle of repeated birth and death. In this whole section, Shri Krishna is using the negation strategy by highlighting that the soul does not die, it is immeasurable and things like that. The body and the soul apparently are merged together. So Krishna is separating the identity of body and soul for our understanding of what is soul. As long as we identify with our body, we suffer the trauma of death. To the extent we realize our spiritual identity, to that extent we become free from our innate fear of death. As we embark on this spiritual journey, we undergo a profound transformation in our self-conception. We shift from viewing ourselves as mere mortal bodies destined for decay to recognizing our true essence as spiritual souls destined for immortality. In embracing the path of Bhakti Yoga, we find a renewed purpose and a deeper understanding of our existence. Let us therefore embark on this journey of self-discovery with the help of the Bhagavad Gita, transcending the limitations of our material attachments and awakening to the eternal nature of our spiritual souls. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. We'll discuss 21st verse of the second chapter in the next episode.